What kind of challenges do you foresee in calibrating this microwave gravitational pulse echolocation technology to differentiate between naturally occurring gravitational anomalies and those caused by deliberate time travel events? If a time traveler goes into their own past, they will immediately begin affecting their target reality as soon as they arrive there. However, the impact a single time traveler makes in redefining their timeline's entire history has no mechanism by which to split their new timeline apart from the old in a single universe-wide event. And so the effect the time traveler has on the splitting timeline begins to be begins by being isolated to their physical proximity, but then expands asymptotically faster and faster the longer they stay in their past. Thus, if a time traveler goes to their past and moves a chair, the effect of this will begin small, causing changes to the timeline only in locations nearby to the disruptive event. But this field of influence will grow in all directions to affect a larger and larger area. This means the offspring timeline created by the time traveler will be occurring within the mainstream timeline, their original location, and thus siphoning energy off from the mainstream timeline to sustain itself. All these effects may be measurable given the proper forms of tools with which to do so. Distinguishing between a naturally occurring gravitational anomaly, such as a baby universe inside a black hole, and a deliberate time travel event, such as an offspring timeline inside the mainstream timeline, should be sufficiently simple, considering that an offspring timeline necessarily takes the form of an expanding CTE, while a baby universe inside a black hole does not. <laughs>